Hi, good afternoon. I'm here with Steve Sterling. Hey, everybody. This is becoming a regular thing for us. <laughs> we like to do videos together. Um, today we are in Bellevue, and for those of you not in the Seattle neighborhood, or Seattle area, I should say, Bellevue is really up and coming. With a lot of tech jobs, um, people are moving here to the east side, east side of Lake Washington. And um, we have Amazon is adding 25,000 jobs, Facebook, T-Mobile. So Bellevue is on the east side of the lake, and that's where we're going to be today, showing Steve Sterling's new listing of this beautiful townhome that really lives like a huge home. It feels great, spacious, and we'll head on inside and take a look. Um, just to, I'm going to turn the camera around. Steve, do you want to add anything before I turn? Yeah, it? just that we're in the Lake Hills neighborhood, so we're we're about two walking blocks away from the corner of 148th and Main Street where there's fabulous food, there's a Sichuan kitchen and Kazuki, which is some great ramen. So there's really some beautiful restaurants all within walking distance. And we're also very close. There's actually a private access trail from this complex into the Lake Hills Greenbelt Corridor, which goes over to the Blueberry Farm. Right. And then the Lake to Lake Trail, which is a 10 mile tra from, uh, trail from Lake Washington to Lake Sammamish. Great. And anyone who knows, if you've driven down 148th, it's one of, it, it is like a main thoroughfare through Bellevue. And that blueberry farm has been there forever. Yeah. And it's really cool. It's fun to go pick blueberries there. Um, okay, so let me turn it around so we could start getting some views of the home itself, which is right behind us. Here we go. So here we are. It's a really quiet cul-de-sac. And it's 249, 100 and- 145th place southeast. 145th and we're an end unit. Um, the front of the building faces east, so we've got great southern light across much of the building. And then the back, very private uh, patio, is southwest facing. Okay. And we're, so we've got really nice Look spacing this. between yeah. the units. And then on the back side, uh, quite far away, is Sammamish High School, but there's actually a little green belt between us and the fields and then the high school. So, really, and there's also a trail back there that you could. There's a little could, gravel trail. A little gravel trail, well. so you can walk around the whole, yeah. the whole complex really quiet we're here in the middle of the day and really this complex quiet. is called the village on main street and uh, it was built in 1988 and um, the hoa fees are surprisingly low they're 383 a month and it covers all the exterior landscaping um, and irrigation and then also the exteriors of the buildings as well that's great and there's nice you can see there's nice landscaping throughout the whole home around the whole home yeah and, they and come that's weekly which is that's amazing. great and it's a two-car garage yeah. right yeah wow about 400 square feet in there we'll show you that when we get on to the 400 side. square feet now so we were talking about this before we started this tour comparing east side townhomes to seattle townhomes and i don't know i think you might get more space over here on the east so. side yeah there's wider lots and Look at so this. It really lives like a single family. It really inside. does. So there's this nice private walkway that we're going to come in off of. And the garage is connected to the home. We're just do, exactly. going through a different entrance. Here's the front door. And uh, we'll start on the main floor and then head upstairs. So, yeah. right, yeah. So I was just going to say we've got these soaring ceilings throughout, which just really gives a sense of space. And light so we have all these upper windows that are capturing the eastern light and then you'll see we've got the same thing on both the south and the west sides as well and you can oops some trying to get the camera there we go all these great lights up here and there's a lot of space Steve and I are gonna put on our masks and hopefully will not sound muffled as we go through yeah. so <laughs> I say let's start in uh... hi how, how are, are you, you? Are we, uh... Oh, hi. How hi. are you? I'm going to walk over here a little bit. Good, good. We're scheduled here from, uh, no, for one hour. Oh, you have Yeah. So, let me. Is that Oh, no, it's a virtual open house. Oh, it's virtual. Yeah. Oh, we have someone here wanting to see the open house. Here we are in the kitchen. I'm just going to continue on here. Steve will be with us in a minute. I like that people came to see. So this is the Eden area in the kitchen. As you see, has great light. On, um, here in the Eden area. Pantry, big pantry over here. No, no, no problem at all. 
Let me just open this up. See, when you go live, you never know what's going to happen. And this is one of those times where something happened. <laughs> the surprise. <laughs> Confusion about the virtual open house. <laughs> Confusion so, for me, uh, too. I'm like, what did we do? <laughs> we're doing, so we'll let those nice folks walk through when, yes. we're, when we're done with our virtual. As computer. you guys know now, we can't do traditional open homes because uh, open houses because of COVID. So that's why we're doing these awesome virtuals. So I just want to show you the light coming in this kitchen is truly amazing. I mean, to be washing dishes and looking out at this beautiful green space would be so nice. Right. And while it's not totally a social kitchen opening to the dining and living, right. this pass through here, you get all that Western light coming through as well and can still converse with folks out there. And then we've got updated appliances. All the cabinetry is original here. Oh, we've got great oak floors and look at the oak floors. pristine condition, and those are through the foyer and the dining room here. The These floors are gorgeous. They're yeah. in great, great shape. And as Steve said, there is that access to the Lake Hills Green Build. So once you walk in, we're going to come here. After you leave the kitchen, we're going to enter this beautiful, bright, open dining. It almost lives like a um, completely open space, like kitchen. It does. Even though it's not, there's a little wall there. But here's the dining area. Again, amazing light through these windows. Yeah, it's really just every time of day I'm here, I feel like it's well lit. The lights can be completely off and you get plenty of light. You also have privacy. So people who are worried sometimes about townhomes, like not right. having that privacy, you really do. We're going to show you as we come here through the living room. There is a, a gas fireplace over here also. Right. And that's mm -hmm. relatively new. Um, and then we've got, as you can see, we've got, when we step out here, we've got a fully fenced backyard. That's what I want to show. This is like part of the privacy is I want to show. Now, I'm just going to say, you might hear a lawnmower going right now. You will hear a lawnmower. <laughs> Not even might. Um, so back here is the green belt that Steve was talking about. You have blackberry bushes back there that are well-maintained. Cherry trees. And a and cherry maples. tree. And maples. And you can put a barbecue back here. Absolutely. In fact, it's plumbed with gas right here. Oh, there you for go. Gas Plug in your gas barbecue right there. And look at this space. I mean, this is a lot of space yeah. to have with a townhome. Totally private. And then it's about 40 feet from our fence to the next neighbor's fence to the south. So if people are out in their yard, you barely even hear those. Fences. You're not looking over each other. Exactly. Yeah, so really great privacy down here. That is. And there are still some blackberries coming in, just want to say. <laughs> Feel free to come pick them. It might be getting a little bit bitter. <laughs> it might be a little bitter. <laughs> so let's follow the flow here. Okay, so we went through the back and over here on our left, so this home is set up a little bit differently where the master primary bedroom is on the main floor. Exactly. And this worked really well for the sellers who were the original owners. They were of retirement age when they bought the home and wanted to have the ability to age in place and live all on one level. So this really accommodated them nicely. This is a pretty cool feature here. Because we're west facing, it can get pretty warm in the oh, afternoons. The sun. So they had a electric sunshade installed. Oh, how smart. Yeah. I wish I had that at my house. I know, pretty slick. <laughs> That's very smart. And then this room is wonderful because it's got really spacious closets, both a walk-in closet and another closet and then a really I'll beautiful five-piece bath. It really gives you privacy. So here's the walk-in. And here's the uh, more closets over here. Yeah. Shoe racks. And then... We've got fresh carpet and paint throughout the entire home. Bathroom, like the toilet is separate, double sinks. And as Steve said, it is a five-piece bathroom, the shower. Oh, and I got in the photo there. <laughs> Whenever really you do mirrors, I know. It's bathroom with two mirrored walls. It is a little hard. <laughs> the photographer was trying to hide from himself. It was pretty funny. It is hard, I know. <laughs> We're always like, we had to try to duck in this way or that. So I noticed this cool, when I was waiting before, I noticed this very cool storage area right here. Yeah, huge closet in the entryway. And those of you who've watched my videos know that I like these. <laughs> I like the hidden closets over here. Okay, and then if you come in off the right here, here's the half bath that we talked about. 
which is right here. And then laundry, which leads straight into the big garage. Right, and that's where the mechanicals are. It's got a forced air gas furnace and gas hot water heater. Both Great. have been regularly serviced. Oh, back here. And the electrical panels in here too. Exactly. So is there air conditioning? There is not air conditioning. But you probably, with the gas furnace here, you probably could easily put in I would uh, think so, yeah. air conditioning if you wanted to. So while this is all cool, I think the upstairs is really, really fun. Yeah. Well, again, we've got some open flex spaces that yeah. are kind of unique. That was actually what drew the, the sellers to this particular house, uh, is that it's got, well, up here we've got an additional bedroom, but then we also have two additional spaces that can be utilized in a variety of ways. There's a lot you could do with it. A lot of possibility. So let's start with the bedroom, because that's more traditional, and then we can talk about the possibilities out here. So here's the bedroom. And this is actually equal in size to the primary bedroom downstairs. So easily oh, wow. could accommodate a king bed and dressers and, and good closet space as well. Overlooking the green space and then off to the Sammamish High School. Now, those of you who don't know, Sammamish High School was recently completely redone. It's really brand spanking new over there. It's a pretty fancy facility. Yeah. <laughs> And really, a lot of light in this room, which is great. Big closets. And then there's another full bathroom up here. Take a look. Joe Easterday likes our kitchen and spaces. Yeah, that kitchen is awesome. Kitchen has great space. And Zelly, if you want to buy it, we'll happily <laughs> sell it to you. <laughs> And so up here is this, what we're calling a flex space. So uh, it was utilized previously as an office. Right now we have it set up kind of as a media family room. Mm -hmm. But you'll also notice that the walls are in place so that if somebody wanted to add a window here, oh. it would be very easy just to finish out these walls and you'd have a third really great size bedroom and a doorway, a oh, ready, check that ready out. to go doorway. That's right. Yeah. And then the other neat component up here is we have this uh, small room, which was the seller was an amateur photographer. Oh, wow. And so this was his dark room. And since they bought with new construction, they had plumbing put in for a sink, which is actually under this desk here. So I'm not sure entirely what size drain pipes are in the walls, mm -hmm. but uh, certainly this could become a craft room. And then there is the possibility of building another primary suite up here utilizing some of the plumbing in the Some of the plumbing. There. And this could also be, uh, um, this would make a great office. And again, when we're thinking about everyone being home now during COVID, exactly. thinking about schooling and working from home, there are a lot of flexible spaces that you could use. This would be one of them right over here. However you want to set it up. It really would work for, um, for people who are working and schooling from home. The other neat thing about this space is that it's got a balcony kind of overlooking into the living room, dining room. So if you want these spaces to feel connected, they naturally They really do. Are. This kind of reminds me a little bit of like, up, like when you go up to the mountains and they always have these nice overlooking yep. um, lofts mm -hmm. over the uh, dining room area or the main living area downstairs. And with the gas fireplace, obviously, in the wintertime. Oh, stay sure. It feels nice and toasty. As well. Zelly commented that she had a dark room in her childhood home. Oh. Zelly is my friend who's <laughs> watching us. Thank you for watching, Zelly. She also loves the whole layout. But she said it, it is a lot of possibilities of what you could do with that. It's really interesting how many times when I have listings that I seem to be clearing out photographic chemicals <laughs> that have been left behind. By, yeah. This is one of the cases where they were not here. <laughs> <laughs> but there were a lot of... I think there were a lot of amateur photographers doing dark rooms in their oh, home. To... We had one in our home growing up. Oh, really? My dad made my bathroom into the dark room. Oh, that's cool. It was cool, except with <laughs> some. I think the light switch was outside. Oh. Because I feel like <laughs> I got in there a couple of times and it was pitch black because someone turned off the light on me. But yes. Did you get some great shots at least yeah. out of that? <laughs> he did. <laughs> he, he, uh, yeah, he used to take pictures of us all the time. 
So, did we talked about the HOA dues? I yeah, think. so the HOA fee is three eighty three a month. Three eighty three, dollars And okay. the price of this unit is $699,000. $699,000. We've had a ton of activity, which is great. And if people are interested, we're going to review offers, if we have any, next Monday at noon. Okay, so there's still plenty of time to get in here and see this home. If you have questions... Steve Sterling are, is happy to answer them, or I could also help answer them for you. I'm just gonna, Steve, you wanna say your number? Sure, yeah, feel free to reach out to me at 206-719-4429. Okay, great, and I'm just gonna turn this around on me now. I have to put my glasses on so I can see. There we go. <laughs> and if you wanna reach out to me, Cynthia Gamble, 206-396-2105. So it's been fun doing this with you, Steve, I gotta say. It's fun every time, and I every time. really appreciate you coming through, and sure. hopefully we'll do another one in a couple of weeks. Sounds great. Come on over to Bellevue, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.